praise the Lord and uh, good afternoon. It's good to have you around and to have you in this session. Uh, we thank God a little bit late, but uh, not very, very late. And we thank God for the grace that he has given unto us for this day. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, this is a day that the Lord has made that we should be glad and rejoice in it. So we are continuing with the issue of uh, dreams. As we have been talking about dreams, understanding dreams, because God speaks through dreams. Praise the name of the Lord. And seeing that God speaks through dreams, it is good for us to understand uh, the nature of the dreams we receive and how to interpret them accordingly, how to deal with the dreams accordingly. And uh, this day, by the grace that God has given to me, I want to continue from where we left yesterday. I was talking about demonic dreams, and in particular yesterday, I handled the dreams that we call initiation dreams. Praise the name of the Lord. And I said uh, from the book of uh, Luke chapter number uh, 4, from verse number 5, uh, the Bible talks about Jesus in the wilderness when he had fasted. And uh, when Jesus fasted, the Bible says that uh, there came the devil tempting him, testing him after the 40 days of prayer and fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, when the devil tempted him, the Bible says at one point the devil took him and showed him the kingdoms of the earth. And I said, this is a translocation. And this is what happens in the initiation dreams. Dreams which are meant uh, fundamentally to introduce somebody to a demonic activity. To take somebody to participate in a demonic activity. I don't mean that Jesus uh, uh, had uh, that kind of a, a scenario, but the truth of the matter is Jesus was in a situation similar to what I'm explaining. He was taken by the devil, taken to the kingdom of darkness, uh, or rather to, the, to see the kingdom of darkness and what it entailed, what it had, the possessions it had. And the devil said, if you worship me, I'll give to them. And today I'm talking about how to... Uh, uh, number one, understand the openings. Rather, let me say this again. I want to talk about the openings that allow people to be taken and to be initiated in dreams. What are the openings that are there? Because if you don't understand the openings, the truth of the matter is you will find yourself engaged. You will find yourself caught up in these things. You will find yourself taken by the devil and introduced to things spiritually. And they will come to trouble you. As I said yesterday, I've talked to people. And uh, one of the person that I talked to, as I uh, indicated yesterday, is a person who was talking about how he was caught up in a dream. And in the dream, akajiona ya kwamba anateswa. Ama aliumwa na nyoka. Na mahali ya lipoona ameumwa na nyoka. Asubuhi ya lipo hamuka akaenda shuguli zake. Alipata accident na kaumia mahali pale pale. Nikawambia habari ya mtu mwingine ambaye. Na lisema alikuwa mwanamke. Alie sema ya kwamba aliona sijui kama ni kugongwa aligongwa titilake. Lakini kutoka pale titilake lika develop cancer. Praise the name of the Lord. Mwingine aliona ameumwa na nini na paka katika titilake. Akikaka siku kidogo eh, cancer imemuanza. So nikasema hizi ni ndoto ambazo sio ndoto ni kitu ambacho mtu anaingizwa ndani yake na ni muhimu sana kwako ku understand hiki kitu ili usije ukaingia ndani yake so even today i want to request uh, tag somebody invite somebody share the video there are people who suffer through dreams and they do not understand why they are going through the kind of things they are going through and uh, some people take it lightly that it was just a dream until things do happen praise the name of the lord Ya, yeah. unaota ume, umepoteza mimba, na kisha mimba inatoka. Mambo kama yale ambao linazugumza siku ya leo na katika eh, siku zijazo wakati na malizia malizia, habali za kuerewa eh, ndoto. So, eh, I want to share with you from the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 13. 
and uh, hear the word of the Lord. Because some things, until we read and we get to know from the scriptures, sometimes people will say, hey, you are an exaggerating man of God. Eh? Mambo haya unanena, yanawezekana. Mutu anaweza ingizwa katika jambo, eh, katika ndoto. Uh, angalia vile neno linasema hapa. Ezekiel kuminasa, eh, na tatu, mustari kutoko wa kuminasaba. Inasema, and you son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own minds. Prophesy against them and say, thus says the Lord God, woe unto women, unto the women who sew, who sew magic buds upon all wrists and make veils for the heads of persons of every stature in the hunt for souls. Hapa neno linasema watu ambao wanawinda nafsi za wengine. Bibi nasema kwamba wanafunga vitamba, wanafunga vinyago. E, kiricho kuwa ama kiri ambacho unaweza erewa katika hidi neno for the sake of those who may not be very conversant with the same. Uh, it is this way. They would create a, 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 a mainicha whatever, a dolly or whatever. And the door ama the sculpture wa mechonga, wataifunga kichwa, wakisignify ni, mungu, ni mtu wanafunga. Na katika hile hali bibiwa nsema ya kwamba, wanafunga nafsi za watu. Will you hunt down souls, will you hunt down souls belonging to my people and keep your own souls alive? Watu hawa kusudilao likuwa kuwinda nafsi, ili kufunga nafsi za wengine. Ili wauwe watu wengine, na wao wabaki wakiwa hai. Sasa kuna mambo mengi katika the spiritual activity. Ninajua watu wengine utasema hiyo ni Old Testament and what have you. I want you to know a soul can be bowed. Mtu anaweza fungwa. Mtu anaweza tendewa jambo katika ulimwengu wa rohoni na likawa katika the physical. Kama hii kitu haige kuwa serious. Mungu kwa nini yaseme mambo haya? Anasema ya kwamba you have profaned me among my people for handfuls of barley for pieces of bread. Hawa watu walikuwa wanafanya hivyo wajipatie vitu wajipatia misaada niliwaambia eh, wale ambao tulikuwa nao jana ya kwamba nilikuwa na my kazi na nilikuwa ananielezea eh, yeye alikuwa anaishi Tanzania wakati huo na akaniambia vile waganga huwa wanatumia watu kuwalimia kuwafanyia kazi wanawatumia watu wengine mtu anakuchukua usiku unaenda kulima shamba lake unalima mpaka asubuhi saa ile saa kumi na moja kagiza kanaenda kupungua ndio unarudi kwa kitanda ukiamka asubuhi unavumbi mpaka miguu kwa sababu umelala kulima Umelala safari, umelala kufanya mambo, lakini in the physical, wewe ulikuwa kwa kitanda ukijiambia. But the truth of the matter, ulirara ukifanyia watu kazi. Nafsi zinaweza kufungwa, nafsi zinaweza tumiwa, spiritual mtu wanaweza chukuliwa. Nilipeana mfano eh, wa mtu mmoja ambayo tulikuwa tunadilu na yeye, alie tuambia habari ya vile alikuwa naperekwa katika ibada fulani, ilikuwa inafanywa kando ya mto. And she would be made to participate in the same. And in participation, she would come back. And I said yesterday, if she was given a necklace or a race or, a, or a, a, a earrings or any other item that she was given, she would find herself with the same. If she was involved in those activities they were doing, she would find herself with the things. Praise the name of the Lord. Nimeona watu ambao hata wameshindwa kukula kwa sababu gani katika ule ulimwengu wanapelekwa wanapewa chakula akirudi katika ulimwengu wa kawaida amekula nyama kule hauku hataki kukula kitu hataki kuona chakula kwa sababu gani ni mfungwa wa kile ambacho kinafanywa upande ule mwingine so these spiritual activities ambazo unaona mpendwa hapa biblia inasema ya kwamba therefore that says the lord god behold i am against your magic birds with which you hunt the souls like birds mungu mwenyewe anasema niko kinyume na hali hii mnafanya Nafsi hizi munawinda, iyo kitu munafanya munawinda nafsi. I am a Guinness. So what I want you to, uh, uh, to establish in this scripture is that God himself spoke of things that would happen at night or during the day, whatever time it was, hunting of souls. Kwa hivyo yule mtu hayuko in the physical realm, yuko katika the spiritual realm, but he is able to hunt the souls. He is able to deal with the souls of men. My brother, my sister, may God help you, may God quicken you and awaken you to this truth. Now there are several things ambazo leo nataka tuangalie. Jambo la kwanza ni the openings ambazo zinaweza fanya ibada kama hii kufanyika. Eh? Jambo hili laweza kufanyika kwa sababu gani? Praise the name of Jesus. 
ni kitu gani ambacho kinaweza fanya ibada hii ama jambo tendo kama hili litendeke kwangu number one, the openings that i'm talking about the first major openings that will give the devil an advantage to hunt your soul at night in dreams and attack you and be able to capture your soul or to capture you and to make you participate in things which are wicked which are demonic of course not everybody is susceptible to this there are several things that I'll talk about here that are important. Number one of the openings is sin. Kumbuka, dhambi hupatia shetani nafasi. Katika maisha ya mtu yote. Usijidanganye ukasema ya kwamba mimi hii kitu hainihusu. Unatembea katika dhambi. Dhambi diyo mulango mkubwa kwa shetani kuingilia maisha ya mtu ya yote. Usichukulie dhambi kama mchezo. Usichukulie dhambi kama kitu ambacho kinafanyika tu hapana dhambi ni mzito dhambi ni kubwa dhambi inapatia shetani nafasi Yesu aliambia Wayahudi katika kitabu cha John chapter 8 ukisoma utapata aliwaambia Wayahudi you are of your father the devil because you are sinners nyinyi ni wafungwa kwa sababu gani ya dhambi Ninaamini siku hivi karibuni tutapata nafasi ya kujifundisha mambo mengine kama eh, spiritual warfare ili mtu apate clearance. Maana najua watu wengi wanapenda kupigana na mashetani na maroho, lakini mtu hajali maisha yale ambao anaishi. Jina la Bwana libarikiwa. Yesu aliwaita you are of your of, of your father the devil. Uh -huh. Aha. hii katika kitabu cha John chapter 8 from verse number 39 ukisoma utapata mambo haya. Uh, Bibiri inasema ya kwamba e, katika mstari ule wa, wake wa kumi wa arobaina na nne, you are of your father the devil and your will is to do your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks of his own character for he is a liar and a father of lies. But because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Nyinyi hamtaki kuamini kweli, hamtaki kufuata kweli. Nyinyi ni wafungwa wa dhambi na kwa hivyo katika kufungwa na dhambi, nyinyi ni wafungwa wa shetani, ni wa baba yenu shetani. Hivi ndivyo Yesu alifundisha katika ile e, e, lile somo. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh? Katika verse 34, Jesus answered them, "Truly, truly I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin." Dhambi ni jela. Mtu yeyote ambaye anatembea katika dhambi, yeye yuko katika jera. Jera fulani katika maisha. Praise the name of the Lord. So, ni muhimu sana uelewe ya kwamba. If you live the life of sin, your life is open and susceptible to demonic attacks. Na usiku wako, utakuwa usiku wenye shida. Domana kuna watu ambao, e, hata wakati watu wengi, ninajua hata wengine ambao wanani watch, watakuambia ukweli. When people come to me, I listen to your story. There are people I usually tell, I don't have to pray for you now. You wait until we meet and talk. Because I want to know your life. I want to know why you are telling me the devil is keep on, keeping on harassing me. He harasses me in the night. He harasses me when I go to the place of work. Everywhere I go, the devil is present. What is your life? Because dhambi ni kitu kimoja. Kitafugua murango kwa shetan. Genesis chapter number 3. As long as Adam was living in the will of God, he, the devil had no capacity, had no power over him. Lakini wakati dhambi iliingia, sote tunajua matokeo ya dhambi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. E, number two, kwa sababu leo nataka kusonga, nataka kuamini ya kwamba, uh, wewe uta, utabarikiwa katika hili jambo. Na shukuru bwana, God bless you so much, Caroline, Mutweri, Esther, Jane, and the rest of you who are watching, watching uh, as, uh, from here. Uh, God bless you so much, Joyce. The Lord be continuously with you. Now, let's continue. The second thing ambao itamfungulia shetani mulango. Na itakumpea nafasi ya kukutesa na kukutokea katika ndoto ambazo ninaongea initiating you into things. Making you participate in demonic activities. Number two is inheritance. And particularly I want to say family inheritance. Urithi wa familia. Na ninapo sema urithi, sitaki kuongea habari ya mashamba kama haya, ati baba yako wamekupea shamba kama hili, ya kakuambia hapa ni pako. That is not. Shamba hakuna mahali litakuingiza kwa shetani. Ukipewa gari na baba yako, na niwe ni mtoto wake, chukua, hata kama anabudu shetani, wea dana gari. Hakuna kitu itakufanya. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu una haki ya kula katika nyumba ya baba yako. Mwana mpotevu Luke chapter 15 aliporejea, alirudi katika nyumba ya baba yake na akapewa kila kitu. Ana haki ya kuwa nazo zile vitu. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. So, let me t- tell you this. Ni muhimu kwako kuelewa inheritance ambayo ninaongea habari yake ni vitu kama hivi vifuatavyo. Praise the name of the Lord. Majina ya kifamilia yanaweza kukupea nafasi. Kwa mfano watu wengi ambao nimeongea na wao nimegudua mtu kama kwa mfano katika kabila letu la wakikuyu we name children after the our relatives you know except in some few cases whereby people have learned to run away from this but uh, we name our children from uh, uh, or rather after the people in our family the first born is named after either the father or the mother of the husband and uh, the second born uh, if he or she is okay if you if you give birth to a boy you shall give uh, the name of your father uh-huh. if you give birth to a girl the name of your mother and then if you give birth to the next one uh, the third and the fourth if uh, the, whichever gender they will be from there uh, the, the wife's side now that is naming and these names nimekuta kama kwa mfano mtu mmoja tulikuwa tunaombea na pepo alikuwa mkali sana tukamkemea tukamwambia utatoka akatuambia haya sasa mmenifukuza mmeniambia niende basi nipeni fulani tukamwambia hauna nafasi kupewa fulani akasema basi nipeni fulani tulipofuata hii 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 inafuata kuna majina ilifuata ile pepo kutokana na ile familia the names within the family zilitaka kuchukua nafasi kutoka kwa yule mtu e, katika nyumba yao majina yale so sometimes the devil will find occasion ya kuingiza watu katika mambo kupitia family inheritance for example names blessed be the name of the lord family inheritance zingine ni, pat, ni vitu zingine ambazo ziko katika familia mambo fulani yaliyo katika familia mabaya yaliyo katika familia praise the name of the lord so let me say this number three. Uh, every evil in the spiritual aha uh-huh. evil in the spiritual realm uovu ulio katika eneo la rohoni ni kitu ambacho ni muhimu kwa kila mtu kuelewa maana kinaweza tumika kuleta mambo kwa mfano kama nyumba ina uchawi watu wale wana participate katika witchcraft sorcery bwana asifiwe sana particular when they did this knowing it eh? ikiwa katika nyumba kuna mambo yale yanaweza kuleta ile participation uingizwe katika kutenda mambo uingizwe katika ibada zile upelekwe usiku ukutane na wale watu bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo mpendwa ni vizuri na ninasema hivi watu wasidharau mambo yale ambao wanaya, wa, wa, wanayajua katika familia nimegundua watu wengi wana wananyamazia e, nyumba yetu e, nasikianga kitambo kulikuwa kunafanywa hiyo kitambo we unaona kitambo in the kingdom of darkness there is nothing like kitambo in the spiritual realm there is no time praise the name of the lord so if you deceive yourself that because your grandfather died and he was a witch and nobody has ever taken care of that nobody has ever thought about these things Nobody has ever thought about removing what was in the house or what is there. I will talk about these things afterwards. Uh, it is good to understand. Hizo vitu zinaweza tumika katika msingi wa ile familia kuwarudisha wengine katika ibada za mashetani na kuwafanya waingie katika yale mambo. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo eh, Mungu akusaidie uliona hili jambo. Jambo lingine ambalo ningetaka u understand ni hili. If you as a person ulihusika katika haya mambo it is an opening in your life ulijipeleka kwa mganga ulijipeleka kwa mchawi ulienda kugangwa ulienda kuangaliliwa mambo ulienda kusoma nyota ulienda kufanya na hizi vitu niliwaambia the other time there is another sermon about nilikuhubiri uchawi mambo leo ama uganga mambo leo watu wanapenda tu games tungine tuko tu games tu uchawi bwana asifiwe sana ehe Uh, what what will your your first born look like and you are not even married or even some people like i've seen people who make these jokes you are married you already have a first born and then you are playing a game whereby this is what your first born will look like what do, do, you, do, you, do you what are you doing actually you are participating in witchcraft and sorcery more than witchcraft and sorcery and it is good for you to leave these things reading your stars 
ati una, unasema nyota yangu leo inasema nisiende safari sasa nikuulize umeajiriwa kwenda safari alafu umekataa kwenda safari kazi inaanza kukupotea mwishowe ndio unakuta watu wengine wanaishi kwa madhabahu wakiombewa na maombi ambao haifiki kwa sababu kuna vitu wana participate ndani yake na katika ile participation wanajipea nafasi ya kuwa attacked by the devil so let me say this as we continue because we must move praise the name of the lord the other thing ambao ningetaka uangalie e, katika habari za e, e, matendo yale ni madhabahu ambao inaweza kuwa katika familia ama katika nini katika maisha yako madhabahu ni kusema mahali pa kafara na ibada bwana asifiwe sana particularly kama ulienda kule kwa zile nyumba za wachawi waganga ukapartisipate ukatoa vitu zako ukapeana mali zako na ili wale watu wakufanyie ibada ile ulikuwa unataka nitakuhakikishia jambo moja katika lile tendo ulitendewa na katika lile tendo we mwenyewe ulitenda excuse me katika lile tendo ambalo we ulilitenda ukaingia katika habari za kutoa kafara yako dhabihu yako ukaitoa pale hakuna dhabihu bila madhabahu hakuna sadaka bila madhabahu kwa hivyo ni kujenga katika kusema katika maisha yako ama katika ile nyumba kulijengeka nini madhabahu kulijengeka mahali palipo inuka pa ibada na sadaka kutolewa katika lile jambo ni kitu gani ambacho kitafanyika watu wote walio katika ile nyumba ama mtu yeyote aliyefanya lile jambo kuna mlango wazi na shetani anaweza upitia usiku kuja na kukuchukua na kukupeleka kwa madhabahu ama kupeleka mahali pengine ama kukuinishieti katika ndoto zako jina la Bwana libarikiwe so it is good for you to understand that uh, 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 ukipartisipate katika lile jambo utakuwa mtu ambaye umejifunga jina la Bwana libarikiwe na kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana kwako kuelewa ni kitu gani ambacho kiko kinakufunga katika maisha kinakufunga katika hali zako praise the name of the lord uh, kwa hivyo ninataka kusema ya kuwa uh, ni vyema ujue jambo hili ujue ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho ukikifanya kitafungua mrango praise the name of the lord so i i don't want to go into 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 that into that realm again but uh, i would like to say a few things as we continue so if you will free participate katika witchcraft katika sorcery katika idolatry ulienda ibada za kishetani ulienda mahali ambapo ulifanya kitu ambacho e, mungu hapendezwi nacho mungu hakukubali e, ni lazima ujue ya kwamba kile kitu ulichokifanya kitaleta mutego na kifungo katika maisha yako na katika kile kifungo ndipo unakuta uh, watu wengi wanajipata katika taabu ambazo wameshindwa uh, kujiondoa ndani yake in the course of time so i want to say this number four, because it is important for you to know this uh, you can have an opening when you are hunted because of your destiny hii sasa si rango lile unafungua mwenyewe. Ni rango lile linalo kana linalo yani ni adui anayejaribu kufungua marango yako. But it is good for you to understand even when the devil is after your destiny hawezi pita unless murango wa dhambi particularly shetani akikuwinda atakuingiza katika dhambi. Ili katika dhambi murango ule ufunguke. There are people who are hunted because of their destiny. As I've said for those who are joining us Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17 to 22. Ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba kuna watu marango yao hufunguka wakati wanatenda dhambi. Na dhambi zikitendwa, shetani anaanza kuwinda nafsi yako na kama alikuwa na kuwinda ana urahisi wa kukushika, ana urahisi wa kukunasa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo ni vyema wewe kama mtu ambaye unatafuta njia ya kujiokoa, njia ya kujifungua. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ni vizuri ujue eh, ya kwamba kama unaparticipate katika lile jambo, utakuwa mtu ambaye ni mfungwa. Wewe utakuwa mfungwa, umefungua mrango wa maisha yako. I want to say this uh, how do we close the doors ambazo nimenena habari yake na jinsi ya kupigana 
kama kuna e, kitu kama hiki kinafanyika kwako praise the name of the lord kama kuna jambo kama hili ambalo linatokea kwako unakuta mashetani anakukujia usiku unanyongwa usiku una participate katika mambo unaingizwa katika ibada unafanyishwa kazi ambazo ni mbaya unaingizwa katika vitu ambazo zinaishi kukusumbua praise the name of the lord uh, by the grace of god when i talk to people i, I talk to different people nakumbuka mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa ananipea kisa kisa ambacho kilikuwa kibaya sana ya kwamba anaingizwa katika habari ya e, mapenzi katika ndoto anaona mtu anakuja analala naye lakini baada ya pale maumivu atakayo amka akiwa nayo ni kitu ambacho kigumu kuvumilia praise the name of the lord what am i talking about nimekuta watu ambao anajikuta amegongwa usiku amegongwa pengine anaona wanapigana anagongwa lakini akiamka kutoka pale anajikuta kile kitu kimefanyika now you know if, if you read your bible with an open mind you will see a lot of things blessed be the name of the lord muangalie jacob wakati anarudi katika inchi ya kanani wakati alitoka katika nchi ile ya ya mjoba wake praise the name of the lord na wakati alipotoka Genesis 32 from verse number 22 Biblia inasema kwamba alijitenga na watu akakaa mahali when the uh, 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 and uh, Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day wamengangana usiku mzima mpaka asubuhi mpaka jua linaenda kutokea When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob he touched his hip jocket, his socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him akaguzwa kiuno mfupa wake wa kiuno ukateguka now ukitazama katika lile neno eh, yule akamwambia niachilie alikuwa maraika of course akamwambia sikuachilie si mpaka unibariki tunajua ile story eh, mwishowe akamwambia wewe unaitwa nani akasema naitwa Jacob akamwambia hautaitwa Yakobo tena lakini kuanzia leo utaitwa Israeli hiyo ni katika verse number 28 praise the name of the lord for you have striven with the god and with the man and you have prevailed praise the name of the lord lakini ukitazama lile neno katika msali wa that one the sun rose upon him as he passed penuel limping because of his hip akawa na uchungu katika kile eh, eh, kiuno ambako mfupa uliteguka. Hii si kitu ya kawaida. Haikuwa katika si mtu alikuwa anamenyana naye maana kama ni mtu mtu angemuuliza unaitwa nani? Mtu angemuuliza si mtu angemuua ama angefanya kama alimuguza mfupa tu ukateguka. Alikuwa na uwezo. Huyu alikuwa ni maraika. Huyu alikuwa ni asimamae mbele za Bwana ndiye alingangana naye na ndio malaika alimwambia umengangana na Mungu na wanadamu na ukawashinda hii ni kitu inaweza fanyika kwa mtu spiritually na itokee katika the physical realm kwa hivyo kuna watu wamejikuta magonjwa yamefanyika katika usiku katika doto lakini physically asubuhi anajipata katika lile jambo kwa sababu ya malango yaliyofunguka jina la Bwana libarikiwe so tunashukuru thank you for the feedback if the sound is good we appreciate and god bless you I believe that you are continually listening to this. So, closing the doors and how to fight such a kind of dreams. Eh, kitu cha kwanza ambacho ningetaka ufanye ni kurudi katika lile andiko tulisoma jana Luke chapter 4 and verse number 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 8. Eh, verse number 7 8. Biblia sema kwamba na Yesu akamwambia, it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God only. Praise the name of the Lord. Number 1 in the dreams it is important for you to learn to resist na sio tu katika ndoto you teach yourself the ability to resist glory be to god and it is important for you to learn to resist na ujifundishe habari ya vita ili hata katika ndoto you resist nimepatana na watu ambao wakati walikuwa wanataka kunyweshwa vitu walikataa katika ndoto so katoka katika ndoto hajakunywa na yule mtu ni rahisi kumshindania ni rahisi kumpigania lakini kama mtu alikunywa hakuresist bwana asifiwe sana so resistance is important but uh, remember kuna vitu ambazo zaidi ya resistance it is important so number two, repentance kama kuna mahali kuna dhambi 
ni vizuri na ni vyema mtu kuitubu ile dhambi maana usipo itubu ile dhambi hautaweza kushindana na ile maroho hautaweza kumenyana na yale maroho yanayopigana na wewe jina la Bwana libarikiwe so ujiulize hili swali katika habari za ndoto kama hii kuna dhambi ambayo inaweza kuwa katika maisha yako ambayo inaweza fungua mlango because if you have lived an immoral life a wicked life there are sins within you na sio dhambi tu za immorality ambazo ni mbaya hata dhambi za wizi Umai, unachukua vitu za watu unaipa kitu ya mtu unaenda naye unafanya mambo ambayo unajua uongo wizi uchafu wa aina yozote uzinzi usherati hizi vitu zote zitakuwa na nafasi zinapea shetani mwanya wa kuattack maisha yako na kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana ujifundishe jambo lile lingine ni kutubu ni lazima ujifundishe kutubu katika maisha yako Blessed be the name of the Lord because repentance itakupea nafasi ya yule adui kushindwa ya yule adui kutopata nafasi ya kuattack maisha yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe uh, kwa hivyo eh, Mungu akusaidie katika lile jambo Mungu akusaidie uweze kushinda katika neno hili ambalo eh, tunakupea praise the name of the Lord Now another thing ambao ningetaka uelewe zaidi ya kutubu it is to break familiar ties familiar ties eh uh-huh. vifungo vyo vyote ambavyo unaweza kuwa umefungwa kwake na ambazo zinaweza pea yule roho nafasi familiar ties familiar ties ni kama nini jina names the names within uh, your family or the name that you have for example i realized that for example in my in my in my culture in my tribal culture I'm named after the father to my father. I'm a firstborn. So, <coughs> excuse me. One of the things I realized, there are challenges I faced in life until I came to realize the name that I bear is a name that carried a certain working within it. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, there are so many things I, I may not be able to share here, even within my family, that we have gone through as a family because of the names that we carried so one of the familiar ties ambazo huwa naambia watu udil nayo ni jina bwana asifiwe sana kuna watu wamejikuta wakiwa visited na mtu kwa sababu ya lile jina shosho anatokea grandmother comes to you because you are named after her oh grandfather keeps on coming because you are named after the person praise the name of the lord so and what i want to say is that uh, it is hard to change names when uh, uh, particularly for us who are mature you have your id you have your certificates and what have you it is very hard to change a name you will take a long process it might bother you a lot but it is good for you to break the ties within a name jina hili nilipewa nikaitwa fulani nikapeanwa kwa maroho ya waliokufa nikaitanishwa na maroho ya jamii yetu Mungu ninakataa jina hili na kile limebeba jina la Bwana libarikiwe jina linaweza kosa kubadilishwa ku, ku kwa ID lakini pia kama kwa mfano eh, jina lile ambalo unaitwa unasikia kabisa lina mambo limebeba unaweza tubu na ukaliondokea ukaliondoa katika kulitamuka katika kinywa chako ukajiondoa katika lile jina like for example I am Peter Kirago. If Kirago is a name that has a, a, a problem, you can introduce yourself as Peter all the time. Let people know you as Peter. Let people call you by that name Peter. I want to say this. If you look at uh, when Jesus met uh, uh, Simon, praise the name of the Lord. The guy we know as Peter. Uh, he kept on calling him Simon, son of Jonah. But there came a time he said, "Simon, and your name shall be called Petra." Peter the name that we call peter petra means rock praise the name of the lord because simon the word or the name simon means unstable and reliable jesus changed the name if you look at the scripture that i've quoted in uh, or rather I've, I've, i've mentioned here genesis chapter 32 why did god see it necessary to change the name of jacob and he said you shall no longer be called jacob because jacob means a supplanter a thief of a kind and god named him israel the blessed one praise the name of the lord so jina ni vizuri kuvunja kile jina linabeba you break the ties within the name you break the power within the name number two, uh, anything that you have inherited from the family family traits 
behaviors, characteristics within the family. Chochote ambacho kinaweza kuwa inherited. Even diseases within the family. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah? You don't allow yourself to swim in the same diseases that your father swam in. The same problems your mother uh, uh, went through. You want to go through the same. No. You denounce them. You break them. The family inheritance. Anything that is of not, not of God within the family. Break it in Jesus' name. Uh, another thing is familiar objects. You must break familiar objects. Familiar objects means kuna kitu unaweza wachiwa. Kwa mfano watu wengine unajikuta mzee anaenda kufa, anaita fastborn, anakuambia sasa ebu fungua pale, ukifungua anakuambia e, fungua funua hapo chini, e, toa kakitu iko hapo, anakupatia. Kama sio taito ya shamba, e, kama sio makaratasi inaosema kuna pesa fulani ziko kwa bank, please vitu zingine ukipewa, unaweza pewa vinyago ni vizuri kama ulipewa na pengine viko wengine uliachiwa kakitambaa na, mz, eh, na mzee ama grandmother ama grandfather before they died they left a familiar object with you a gourd a pot anything of that nature it is good to break them to destroy them because if you don't they are entrances they are doorways in which the devil can visit your house Praise the name of the Lord. I remember reading a book I may not remember the title but this book talked about a, a, a man he was a minister, and uh, as a minister, he had a situation whereby uh, he became sick. The children became sick. Everybody in the family is sick. Until he invited a man of God from his uh, motherland to come to Africa just here in Congo. And uh, I don't remember whether it's Congo or uh, Central African Republic, one of the two. And uh, he came, and they started praying because he wanted to understand, why am I suffering? Why are we going through all this? And as he continued praying and doing whatever they were doing, uh, one day, the man of God saw some two rings hanging uh, 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 in the sitting room. And he asked, what are these? And he said, oh, I bought them. Those are souvenirs. And he asked them, where did you buy them? And the guy said, the missionary said, I bought them in the, uh, uh, at one time there was a festival, a tribal festival, and they were playing magic, and I bought them and I put them in the house. And he was told, this is your problem. So he said, they are not only these ones. In the children's bedroom, there are others. So they went and removed them. And the moment they removed them, the diseases left, the sicknesses left. Familiar objects. Praise the name of the Lord. I have shared this story many times. I, I suffered a serious situation in my own house. Praise God. Not far from where I am right now. And uh, my children suffered, were sick throughout, in a doubt, in a doubt of hospital. And one day, I remember after prayer, after we prayed a lot, I remember God showed me a dream and showed me familiar objects that were in my house, things that were given by some people to my children. And these were the troublesome. And God told me, this is your problem. And I took them out and I burnt them. And when I burnt them, my children have never suffered a similar fate, even to date. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you find yourself having a familiar object, na familiar object ni nyingi, kuna mtu wanaeza kutoka, upewe nguo tu na mtu. Rafiki ya kununulia kitu. Kutoka pale unajipata attacks zimezidi. Unapewa kitu na mwanaume, anakupea pesa, tuseme we ni mwanamuke anakupea pesa. Kutoka pale, utakuwa sexually harassed in the night. Wewe ni mwanaume, unapewa vitu na, na dada furani. Kutoka pale, your life is transformed to a life of suffering. Every now and then, you are in pain because of the same thing that you went through or you are given. Praise the name of the Lord. Miona hata watu mbao wamepewa chakula, wakakula. Uh, na zika leta mateso wacha nisiingie katika hiyo barabara sana lakini si umeshika na na hope kwamba umeelewa familiar objects e, guo e, vitambaa mtu anaweza kukupea hata kasufuria na kutoka hapo unagundua e, nyumba mmeko sana mtu anaweza wanunulia kitu <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana eh awanunulia kitu awalete hata kuna watu ambao wamewahi notice eh walipewa blanketi kwa harusi walipopewa blanketi wakaenda naye kwao na katika kwenda naye kutoka pale wakiweka ile blanketi kwa kitanda hawasugumuziani hawaonani vita vinaanza lakini blanketi ikitolewa ingine ikiwekwa haya maisha inarudi normal why familiar objects bwana asifiwe sana and i usually tell people be careful uh, anytime you receive things from people uh, i want to say this this is not the time ya kuchukua tu kila kitu Ndiyo Elisha wakati alipewa sadaka na naman. 
alikata alisema hapana wewe rudi na vitu zako mpaka kwenu sihitaji hizo vitu hapa saa hizi bwana asifiwe ehe hiyo ni katika first kings chapter eh, second kings chapter number 5 if you read first kings chapter number 13 kuna kijana na biki jana aliambiwa when you go to that land don't eat anything don't drink anything do not return the same way but unfortunately he disobeyed the lord and he was given food offered to idols and that was his trap and from there the devil was able to attack him and destroy him so kama unataka kujilinda usiku wako usitokewe na madoto ambazo ni za kutisha na ambazo zinakuingiza katika ibada za kishetani ni vizuri ufunge milango kwa kufungia ama kuvunja familia objects katika maisha yako eh, i want to say this how to fight uh, generally after doing the things that i've said knowledge of god is important and relationship with god relate with god have fellowship with god if god is in a house if god is in your life then the devil has no opportunity to attack you praise god but if sin if god is not in your life because of sin or because of whatever else he that could push him out of your life or that could push you away from god if you are out of the presence of god the devil will attack you Satan will take advantage and I have told you many times Satan is an advantage taker so if you live your life and you live in a situation whereby you are doing things outside God you can be sure the devil will attack you so knowledge of God or fellowship with God is important for your own uh, salvation and for your own deliverance and for your own safety even at a night when you sleep born as we sun having the covering of God in your life. You know what the devil mentioned in Job chapter number 1? He said, how can I attack Job when you have surrounded him and all that he has? So, ni vizuri ku make sure kwamba you have the fellowship with the God, the covering of God. Na wapendwa ni vizuri hata kuomba wakati watu wanalala ya kwamba Mungu atawahifadhi. Ni vizuri kuomba the protection of Jehovah because if you don't, there are enemies who are always looking for a way to attack people. Uh, I want to say this uh, no God's word because the word of God is a security. Yesu alimshinda shetani kwa kumwambia imeandikwa. Mara tatu katika ile kitabu cha Luke chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4 alimwambia it is written. That is how Jesus overcame the devil. So how much of the scripture is in you? Because as the Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 6 is that uh, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. The word is the sword of the spirit. So wakati wote una neno una upanga and the sword is an offensive weapon. Hallelujah. The sword is an offensive weapon. So if you keep yourself in the word, you know the word and practice the word, you can be sure you are safe and secure. Uh the other thing is relying on the power of God. Nguvu za Mungu katika maisha. Wacha kuwa weakling, wacha kuwa mtu ambaye hana nguvu. Na hii guvu hupatikana wakati watu wanafunga. On Sunday I'll be talking more about a prayer and the fasting and particularly I am dwelling on fasting. So kindly uh, follow me on Sunday for more about prayer and fasting because one of the key things katika kupata nguvu ni neno la Mungu katika maisha yako and above the word you must also know a uh, prayer and fasting is important. Fast and a pray. Take your time of food. Wachana na chakula. Wachana na hii vitu ambazo umekura, ulikura juzi, hata hata jana ulikura. Si unaweza wacha hii chakula. Si unaweza fika mahali uachane na hiki chakula. Useme ya kwamba nimekura mara nyingi. Niweke chini because in fasting you gain spiritual strength. We'll be discussing that more on Sunday. Finally, I want to say know the place of the blood of Jesus Christ. And I want to mention this as I conclude. The blood works when the people honor it. Hawezi kuishi maisha ya dhambi. Unaidharau ile damu ndivyo maandiko inasema katika kitabu cha Waebrania sura ya tisa. Eh? Mtu yeyote ambaye anafanya dhambi anadharau ile damu ambao ilimuokoa. Kwa hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba kama hautaweza kuishi maisha matakatifu, shetani atakutesa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Damu ya Yesu inafanya kazi katika utakatifu. So ni vizuri uishi maisha matakatifu unajichunga unalinda maisha yako so that the blood of Jesus can work for you can work in your life. May God bless you so much. I want to believe today's sermon was important for you and I want to pray that the same grace of God shall be upon you as the God continues to minister to you until you come.
to the place of victory. If you have any question, as I said earlier on, you can uh, post your question uh, through this number 0719727770. It can be an SMS or a WhatsApp message. Or you can inbox me. I will continually uh, update you as I continue. If you have a dream that you'd like to understand, I have given occasion kindly keep uh, 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 communicating with us. Uh, I will be interpreting one or two dreams as we continue. But today, seeing that there is no question, there is no dream that um, maybe came through, mbao inahitaji, na tutasoma. Kuna mahali kuanzia mande, nataka tuingie katika habari ya divine dreams, god dreams. And then after that, I, I believe two days will be done. And then uh, I will be able to talk about interpreting dreams, how to identify the important aspect uh, uh, things in dreams and how to deal with this god bless you so much caroline uh, milka the lord bless you so much for commenting and letting us know that this sermon was an eye opener and a blessing to you and the lord continue to bless you and i want to say this thank you very much for those who have been supportive to us I want to say this uh, program running almost on a daily basis is not very easy. It is not a simple. One of the things that keeps us here is knowing that you are listening. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, uh, God bless you so much and uh, continue to minister to you. Mutweri um, Douglas, I don't understand uh, what you mean, but uh, may God bless you also and may God help you to understand more of what we are sharing right now so if you want to be a blessing you can also use the same number 0719727770 and share with us so that we can become more blessing to more people everywhere the lord continue to bless you and continue to keep you in his presence shall we pray father i bless your people and i release the grace of god upon them if there's anybody who has lived a life of sin and wants to change, wants to move away from sin so that the devil cannot have any occasion to attack the person, I pray that it will happen right now in Jesus' name. As many as are turning away from sin, getting out of evil, getting out of wickedness and denying the devil opportunity, I pray that my God, you will minister to these people and you will increase them, my Father, and help them to get out of every evil and every Every wickedness and your name shall be glorified and exalted forever i bless you because you are worthy i release your divine protection over your people bwana wale ambao shetani amepata nafasi ya kuwatesa katika ndoto bwana mungu wakitafuta njia na waipate ya kuacha kuteswa na waombea baraka na waombea kufunikiwa katika jina la yesu i release your divine favor because you are good and you are faithful our father in the name of jesus christ we pray and we do believe. And I also pray that God, you shall bless those who have been a blessing to this ministry, those who have been telling us, keep on teaching us, keep on giving us the word. I pray for them that they also be blessed, my God. Blessed is the hand that gives more than the hand that receives. And my Father, from the where they have taken their resources and given to the kingdom, may the kingdom also provide unto them. For you are God, you are good, and you are gracious unto us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we pray and we do believe and somebody say amen out there amen the lord bless you so much uh, uh mutweri Douglas. the number again is 0719727770 and uh the lord bless you whatever you want to share whether it is a dream whether it is your resources you want to be a blessing the lord will always reward you. God bless you. I hope you got it again. 0719-727770. You can send a WhatsApp message or a, a, a text message with you be listening. Share the video. Tell somebody. And uh, the video is also available on YouTube. Uh, though I've not been able to upload yesterday's uh, sermon and today's sermon, I will try to do this today. And I hope that it will be a blessing to you. The Lord bless you. Shalom. Shalom.